What's going on guys? It's Greg Farley from The Wise Guys and this is another segment or your very first segment of the random pack challenge. I bought six random packs. Don't know where they came from. They could have been at the bottom of a box, but I figured some people have an addiction of watching stuff get open. So why not serve those guys? No, I'm just kidding. I always like opening packs. It's always a cool thing. I don't buy too much sealed products, so I thought why not throw this down. So we got Solomon Great, some World Legacy stuff, Agave Dragon, and Second Expedition, and a rare Thunder Dragon Matrix. Just put two Supers in the other video. So that's that's cool. That's a danger card. Getting into the second pack. We got uh, Until Noble Arms, the trap card, very good card. Got a deck profile of Noble Knights coming, an updated one. Uh, Parallel Panzer, a Thunder Dragon Fusion, and a Clock Sport Toy. So a Cybers card and a Thunder Dragon Fusion. Obviously, there'll be somebody that's going to need this eventually. Thunder Dragon Fusion is pretty cool. I've heard about it being played in, in new decks, so and like prank kids and stuff like that, but uh, who knows. And then you got some other cards too. Uh, it's a really good card for Crusadia. Crusadia's only gonna get better over time, so you might wanna pay attention to the deck. Uh, four more to go. Wish me luck. Hopefully something comes out of these. Not that I need anything, but it's cool to open them. We got Dino Wrestler guy. This guy, this guy, best card in the set. This guy, and then Mystic Holder, so. And Consolation Prize, I've never even seen that. I don't remember seeing this card. If a monster is sent from the hand to the graveyard, target one of them, special summon it to your field, you can only activate one Consolation Prize per turn. So, this card is interesting. Uh, it's a tribute level five spellcaster though, so I don't know. It may be a little bit weird to get on the field anytime soon. Got some more commons over there. Three more packs. Hopefully I don't get a another bad super or something. Uh, Panker Tops, again, the best card in the set. Should have been hollow. It will get upgraded. Ooh, we got a sacred. We got a snaky boy. Snaky boy. Good pull. Really good pull. That's actually a really insane pull. I needed that, actually which is cool because I'm about to start playing Burning Abyss a little bit more like I used to. Uh, Clock Wyvern, really good card for the Cyburst archetype. And then uh, Triff, I'm pretty sure this is Triff. We'll just act like there's a T outside of it. And it does some melodious stuff. I'm not gonna try to even figure that out. Uh, Solomon Great, it's really cool. You might wanna check that deck out. It's really fun to goof off with, but I got a Snakey Boy. I'm happy with these packs. You always go for the random bottom of the barrel packs if you've seen packs have been opened because you can always pull a snaky boy. Next up, we got this, 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 Ivane, and Salomon Great, the Heat Leo, the Link 3 that's really good. And it's a Cybers card because they're Salomon Greats. So all in all, this looks like this is going to be the MVP out of the set, but we'll see. We got one more. Keep your fingers crossed. We'll call these bottom of the barrel packs part one. And Necro Valley Throne. Got some friends to play Gravekeepers that are coming back to the game, so I'll hold that on for them. Cyanet Fusion. And then a bunch of other cards. Again, check out the Salomon Greats. We'll try to get a deck profile. Appreciate you guys tuning in. This is a little quick little rundown video of a little pack opening. Never hurts to try, right? Shout out to you guys. Team Wise Guy signing out. YG Baby.